Changing and everything else. But I'll tell you, God, we got some preachers that are here, amen, that's got some fire behind them, and they want to preach the word, glory to God, and, and make a stand for Jesus. I said, we'll make a stand for Jesus, glory to God. If you have your Bible tonight, turn to Malachi chapter 3. Now, God changed my message twice tonight, and uh, I, I just want to go with the flow tonight. Yes. Holy Ghost not knows what he's talking about, what he wants to do. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. And Malachi, amen, he wrapped it up in just a, uh, just a few words, amen. Bible says, Malachi said in, in chapter six, chapter 3, verse 6, For I am the Lord, and I change not. Yes. I, for I am the Lord, and ch I change not. Amen. Now, the Bible said, Jesus said, I, uh, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. What are you trying to say, Brother Michael? I'm saying we're living in a generation right now. And I believe what Brother Tony said a while ago, that the preachers and the pastors and the churches are telling the people, amen, that we've got to change. Amen. God didn't change with the time. I said God didn't change with the time. And we as God's people, we don't need to change at the time. We need to get back to the old path. I said, amen, let's get back to the old path. Yes. Glory to God. And the church, I believe with all my heart, it's time, amen, to, to realize God is a loving God. He's a good God. He's a great God. And, and church, he's a God of wrath also. We preach so, so that I'm going to preach a lot tonight. But we preach love so much, amen, that people, and even sinners and Christians, think they can get by with just everything. Can I hear an amen? amen? Because the God is so much love. And church, and I, I had friends, and, and they told us they, they told us that when they wanted to go, to go to hell, they knew Jesus, amen, that God would not send them to hell. God doesn't send nobody to hell, church. Amen. We send ourselves there. He gave yes. us His Son, Jesus. Amen. That anybody would come to Him, they can be saved. Glory to God. Can I hear an amen? amen. I think God will not change. I'm going to sum it up in just four words. God will not change. Amen. amen. He, first of all, He will not change His love. I don't care if you're a sinner or if you're a saint. God will not change His love. In other words, the Bible says, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you hear me tonight, church? Yeah. Do you hear me out there? God so loved you, and He will not change. Amen. He loved you so much, He gave His, amen, His only begotten Son, that we can be saved tonight. Every sinner can be saved tonight. And I thank God, church, He hasn't changed His love towards us. I said, He so loved the world. He gave His only begotten Son that we, if we believe upon Him, church, let me tell you something. So a lot of people, even the devil knows that Jesus, amen, is alive and well. He sat in the right hand side of the Father. But to believe me that you're going to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you're not ashamed of Him, and you know that He is the only way, and He's the only truth, and He's the only life. Amen. amen. That anybody come to Him, He'll give them life yeah, over to God. He'll bless their lives abundantly. Are oh, you listening to what I'm saying tonight? God will not change His love towards us. The Bible tells us in, in verse in Romans chapter 8, verse 35, no matter what you're going through. Now, church, the devil likes to use, uh, amen, uh, this life from hell, church. Uh, amen. And I think a lot of Christian people fall for it anymore. I said that even a lot of Christians, especially young Christians, yeah. even older Christians fall for it. They trust me tell you, when you're going through a storm, when you're having troubles uh, and things are not going your way, don't you dare give up. The devil will say, God doesn't love you. You've done something, amen, that, that God, that he, he no longer loves you. That's a lie. The Bible said that God will love us. All the principalities and all the powers and all the rulers and devils in hell cannot change, amen, God's love towards us. If we'll just believe and stand up on Him and say, Lord, I trust you, I believe you, and I know that you love me even though I'm going through the storms and going through these valleys and through these trials. I know that you're testing me and trying me, and that I learned a long time ago when I'm going through something, somebody else is going through it too, and they're watching me and see what I'm going to do about it. When you're going through trials and afflictions and temptations today, people are watching you. 
especially sinner people, especially your loved ones, and they're going to see how you're acting. I said they're going to see what you're doing. And you can't say God doesn't love you anymore. God loves you. I don't care what you're going through with. I'm glad Apostle Paul told us through his word, glory to God, that I mean, all the principalities and all the devils in hell can't change God's love towards us if we've got Jesus Christ. I said if we've got Amen. Jesus Christ, it yes. as our Lord. I give the Lord a hand. Amen. Oh, it's time for God will not change. We've got friends, we've got churches, and we've got pastors, and we've got preachers. Amen. Set will limit the time now that we've got to change our ways and change our positions. I'm not going to change my way. I'm not going to change my positions. Oh, this is what I'm saying, church, because I'm here to tell you, God doesn't change. He stands for amen for, for us to live and to love Him, and He, he lets us know. Jesus told the, the crowd, and he's telling us, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come with the Father, amen, but through me. And the as Bible says in Timothy, he tells us, glory to God, that there's only one being in between God and man, and that is Jesus. Well, I said, uh, that is Jesus Christ. And you're not going to go the other way. You can, you can pray to the Pope, and you can pray hell, Murray, and everything else. It will not, amen, intercede for you. Jesus Christ is the only intercede. He's the only man standing between you and God. I said he's the only person that stands between you and God, and you better look to him. He said, look unto me. I'm the author, and I'm the finisher of your faith, and you better look, look to him. Can I hear an amen? amen? Well, glory to God. I feel this revival start. Oh, I tell you, God, it will not change for you. He won't change for the sinner, and he won't change for the saint. Can I hear an amen? amen. Oh, I tell you, we've got a lot of people today are trying to get God to change. I've never seen in my life so many churches that have changed. Just like the brother said a while ago, when a man can stand up with the thousands and thousands of people that follows him and say that there's many ways to Jesus, I'm here to tell you that people that follow him ought to know better. Yeah. That's why we got the Bible. Amen. That's why he wants to tell He should tell the people, take your Bible and read it and follow me. And if I'm not following it the right way, amen, you yeah. tell me. Oh, you just want to say I've heard my people, amen, to follow me in the Bible and, and follow my word and my preaching. And if I'm not preaching what I should be preaching, you need to tell me. Yeah. I'll give them on a head clap, church. I, do. I, know, I know the pastor he's talking about. There's other pastors. One guy wrote, I don't know how many books and everything. Man, I thought he was spiritual and everything else. When he come to say that the Muslim serves the same God we do. I think the Muslims don't serve the same God we do. What are you trying to say, Brother Baggins? Muslims do not believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God, you are Antichrist. I said you are Antichrist. And church, I'm here to tell you, it's time, amen, to tell the church and the pastor. I wouldn't follow. If, if a pastor ever got told me, amen, to all these things, I wouldn't even let them, amen, preach them in this pulpit. Amen. Or you just want to say in church. God will not change for a saint or a sinner. God, I thank God we serve a God that doesn't change. I'll give the Lord a hand clap, church. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 35. See, no matter what you're going through with, God loves you. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? I want you to know Christ is a thief, church. Paul no recognizes you have to have Jesus Christ as a theme of your life, the savior of your life, the deliverer of your life, the go-between for you in your life, and that church that he's the only mediator. And the Bible says, shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or poor or short. Now, church, when the devil comes to you, see, that's what you need to read the Bible. You need to know the Bible. You need to know your scriptures because the devil will lie to you. I mean, he's trying to lie to Jesus and Jesus, amen, be the word of God upon him. When he comes to you, you're going to, we will go through persecution and we will go through famine. We will go through afflictions. We will go through trials. We will go through troubles. But when the devil tells you that God doesn't love you, you use the word of God on him and say, get behind me, devil. God loves me. Amen. He's too tested me. Let me know he loves me even when I'm going through tribulation trials because he said he will never leave me nor forsake me. Woo, glory, I'm feeling this tonight. God will not change. 
Amen. Nay, in all these things. Say all these things. I said, say all these things. Say all these things. Amen. God will not separate his love from us. Don't let the devil talk to you the difference. Now, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded. So you got to be persuaded, church. you got to be convinced of the word and convinced that God loves you and he will not change. Just because the church is changing and the society and the world changes, it doesn't mean that God is going to change. That's why I serve God tonight. Because I serve a God that will never change. He'll never leave me, forsake me, and I can stand with him and everything else is going down. Oh, I'm going to God. Nay, I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our yes. Lord. He's in Christ Jesus, yes. church. Yes. That's why you, a lot of people don't have the confidence for it because you've got to have Jesus. The Bible says, greater is he that's in me yes. than he that's in the world. Yes. If I've got Jesus, I've got everything. Yes. The devil can't do nothing with me and the world yes. can't do nothing with me because I know that God loves yes. me and God loves you. Oh, glory to God. Yes. God doesn't, he's not going to change. Amen. Amen. And I'll tell you, church, I, I, I know, I know we're living in time. Now, the Bible said that it was the days of Noah, yes. so should also be coming the day of the Son of Man. Yes. I know that it also the Bible says as it was in the days of Lot, amen, it will also be coming of the Son of Man. And church, let me tell you something. We've got homosexuals, amen, and, and they're going to church. Now, I want to, I, 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 I would have nice to see God fill this church up yeah. with homosexuals. Yeah. Amen. That God can save yeah. them. Amen. And God can deliver them. Yeah. Amen. amen. It, it's not a sickness. It's a sin. Yeah. I said it's not a sickness. It's a sin. Because the Bible said they left their amen ways. And, and the lust of the flesh called them, amen, to leave. Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And then that spirit, amen, that abomination spirit gets in them. Right. And they think it's all right. And the pastor, they got enough nerve to stand up yeah. and tell them that it was a sin. And they go, they're lost and go to the devil's hell. But they need to be told yeah. that God loves them. Yeah. They, know, they know God doesn't right. love their way, but he, he, he loves you. Yes. As a person. Amen. They say killing babies and everything else. See, we got to change with the time. Right. Amen. Amen. We got preachers, Sunday school teachers, yes. and everything. Yes. Believes in abortion. I'm, I hate to recognize I've got a teacher or a preacher here that recognizes abortion. It's they go along with abortion or, or go along with killing babies and everything. How can you set up and teach the Word of God when you believe in killing little babies? Amen. Tell your name, man. Amen. Oh, church, we need to get back to where we used to be. Yes. Amen. And it used to be Christians would bless them a lot of things. Now they don't even bless you anymore. Amen. That's right. What are you trying to say? God will not change on ungodliness. God is a God, amen, of holiness. He's a holy God. He said, we're, He's a holy God. So far, so far, we have to be holy. Yes. Amen. When God comes back to get this church, we got to be us without spot or blemish or wrinkle, and we can't have a life full of sin. Yes. Amen. Our life is full of flesh. Amen. I'll tell you, church, I believe God loves everybody, yes. whether you're a saint or a sinner, but we've got to change our way. And only Jesus, yes. I said, only Jesus. The, 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 the Pope can't change you. Yeah. Hail Mary can't change you. Right. Uh, are you listening? Mohammed and all these others can't change you. They're just a dead God. But yeah. God is alive. Yeah. Like that song yeah. said, Mother, God, God is alive. He's like a rolling line. I said, God is alive. Yeah. I assure yeah. God that God dead. He was dead. But the great God, He rose from the grave. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Good preaching. Amen. See, the church is thinking it's all right. Help us, I got so happy I lost my time. We need some more preachers like this. Yes, Get so happy they lose their time. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, Lord. They need to lose some of that flesh and everything to please. Yes. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, yes. verse 23, it's my job as a minister and as a pastor to tell you 
about the wages of sin. Yes. Amen. And I know we're not we're not perfect, church, but we're striving. Yes. I say we need to strive. Glory to God. Bible says in Romans chapter six, verse twenty-three, for the wages of sin is death, yes, it is. but the gift of God is eternal life right. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, sin is death, sure. Yeah. A lot of people say, well, it's all right to kill a little sin. You're in the flesh and everything else. No, I'm telling you, if you get a habit of sinning, and before you know it, the, the right. Holy Spirit can't do nothing with you. Oh, yes. I, mean, I mean, there's times that the Holy Spirit will convict you when you know that you're not doing right. Now, church, I'm here to tell you, when you begin to sin after a while, sin seems like, amen, just, a, just something, you, amen, that, well, it's okay. It's not okay. Right. Sin is sin, and God doesn't change when it comes hey. to sin. Can I hear an amen? amen. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 2. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. He said, Your iniquities have turned away these things. He was, Jeremiah told the children of Israel that they, I mean, God blessed them so many times, and, and they was, I mean, they was a blessed people. I mean, God blessed them coming, God blessed them going. Amen. God opened up his hand and blessed him. Amen. I'm here to tell you, church, God will open his hand. And if you're living right and walking around with God, he'll open his hand and give you all the blessings that you can't reach for take of. Can I hear an amen? amen? But now he said, because of your sins, I have withhold good things from you. It's, are you listening to what I'm saying, church? You can't walk in sin and expect God to bless you. Right. Uh, we, we've got so many people now, so many preachers. To, amen. They'll preach a big old, oh, uh, Heartwarming message, amen. Don't talk about sin or nothing else. And, and I tell you, I believe if you got a good God fearing pastor, they, they know his people. Yeah, uh, yeah. You may have 10,000 people, whatever. You don't know them kinds of people. Right. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? The Bible said they had the 50s and 100s. I believe mean, the Bible said, as a pastor, you should know their congregation. And truth, let me tell you something. You may, you may get by with, with a while with the pastor and everything with your sins. Are you listening to what I'm saying? But you won't get by with God. I said you won't get by with God. And that's how the God, the Holy Spirit, will begin to, 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 to pump the observer to amen upon the pastor. And amen, he'll tell you when there's something not right. Amen. I said he'll, the Holy Spirit will let you know that something is not right. And truth be told, we got to... Apostle Paul in the book of Corinthians, the people were, some of the people were sinning. Amen. And, and people, the people go along with sin. I said the people go along with sin. And that congregation Lord, was going along with sin. Well, we had a, a, a son living with his father's wife and everything else. And, and boy, the congregation was just praising him and, and everything else. And I tell you, after a while, the Holy Spirit told Paul, and Paul got a hold of that, and Paul began to set things straight. In fact, the Bible says he turned his flesh over to, over to the devil, with the devil, amen, to get, get a hold of him. And God had a change. But thank God, in the second book of Corinthians, amen, God changed him, and he changed himself. And God made he made it right with God. And he made it right with the church. Yes. That's why you got, when you pick your deacons and your saviors and your Sunday school teachers, everything, you got to make sure they're serving and living for God. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen. Yes. I'll give them all a head clap, church. Yes. Yes. You got preachers, you got piano players, you got saviors, everything else, living like the devil, acting like the devil, everything else, and they get up there. And then the congregation will know. See, everybody knows each other. Can I hear an amen? See, God won't change. I said God won't change. God's ungodliness is ungodly. Sin is sin. Can I hear an amen? amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. You need to underline this there with that. Bible says Paul told those, amen, that was, he, he was telling the church. It wasn't sinners. He was telling the church. They had people in the church doing these things, and Paul had to come and straighten them out. Yes. We got to straighten people out. Right. I said, I, I don't have a church full of people, and a lot of people have left. They would have had people come in and take kids, and we could have a big Sunday school and everything, but they were living together, shacked up and everything. And I had to take them in the office and tell them, you can't live without being married. Yeah. You can't shack up and they can tell and say, they got to bless you because you're leaving living in adultery or you're living, amen, in the, uh, what else is the? Uh, Fornication. Fornication. What is it? Fornication. Uh, fornication. My mind just went blank. Y'all didn't like that. He didn't like this right here. Oh, I tell you, I thank God God is a good God. This is what he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? 
He had to tell the congregation in the Corinthian church, know that the unrighteous should not hurt the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. That's right. I mean, he was telling the congregation, well, I don't want to happen to the pastor. I don't know what happened to the Sunday school teacher. I don't know what happened to the to the bishops and, and uh, the deacons and everything. They was putting up with it. Amen. Oh, you listen, well, we've got church and they say it's all right. It's not all right. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulteries, nor adulterers, nor infamous, nor abusers of themselves with me in time. Did I say that again? I didn't say it, God said it. Not abusers of themselves with me in time. I mean, they're, they're uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you're talking about. I'll try to be nice. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revealers, nor extorters shall inherit the kingdom of God, and such were some of you. Yes. I mean, he just pointed the people out in church. What would happen to the Holy Ghost got a, got a hold of me or got a hold of some pastor in the church and, and that they had people of all kinds of sins and God through the Holy Ghost and the pastor begin to pour them out. I'll tell you what, you talk about a revival and you talk about an amen calls in the church of amen to go up in glory and everything. Church, it can happen these last days. I mean, this is what I'm saying. See, the sin will find you out after a while. Amen. So were some of you. I'm glad you put that word in there. Because God saves all kinds of people. Yes. And when he saves them, he changes them. Amen. Amen. That's what he says. Oh, yes. But, 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 oh, I love that word, but. But, <laughs> you are washed. <laughs> you are washed by the blood of Jesus. Yes. And by the word of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. You are sanctified. Yeah, that means God has set you apart. Yes, you, can be, you can be part of the church and do what God wants you to. Praise oh, God. glory to God. And he says, But you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. He's the only one that can justify you. He's the only one that can take your sins away. He's the only one that can sanctify you. He's the only one that can wash you. You are justified and you're a brand new person. Old life has changed away. Glory to God. And you got a brand new life. Got a brand new beginning. And church, I'm here to tell you how I many God can do that yes. if we get in and start. I many God yes. can do this in revival. But we got to want to. Yes. We got to have a hunger. We got to have a desire. We got to hate sin. Are you missing what I'm saying? We got so many Christian people. They're so much like the sinners that they, they don't hate sin anymore. Right. You've got to hate sin. What are you trying to say? Because you need to know what sin does to your loved one. What sin will do to you. Are you listening to what I'm saying, church? That's what God was saying. Look at, the, look at our nation now. How bad a shake it is. That's right. It's worse every day. I ain't going to finish this tonight. I'll tell you, but it's getting too late. We've got to be home in less than an hour and a half, whatever, you know. <laughs> People get real restless and everything. Yeah. We used to be going for three, four, two or three hours there. Right. Right here, amen. amen. Now they can people get to look at the watch. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh, you're justified in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of God. Amen. 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 See, God doesn't change. No, and He's sure He's going to change His word. Right. I tell you, we got so many church. Th th this is revival. Amen. I said we're having revival. Hey, church, let me tell you something. I'm going to say something some of may not like. Amen. Especially those about me listening. We need to get rid of some of them new words in Bibles. That's right. I didn't hear very many amens. Amen. Amen. I said some of these new words in Bibles we need to get rid of. Amen. They're taking the blood out. They're taking Jesus out and everything else. Can I hear an amen? amen. Now I know that I've got I've got a little how many two words and everything out there. You first me tell you something. Sometimes we get a little bit of me now, but you say, well, I can't understand the King James Version. The reason why you can't unchange it, you can't understand the King James Version is, is because you're not praying or seeking the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost yes. will teach you and yes. show you and he'll show you the right way. Amen. It's okay. It's okay to read some of the versions and everything, but stick stick to the King James version. Yes. If you want to look up a little bit, well, what does the King James version and what does this version say? 
and see the difference in it. They got it watered down so much. Well, glory to God, I like that. That don't tell me what I what I thought it said. Or you listen to what I'm saying, church. The word of God doesn't change. See, the Bible tells us in John chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, if you want to really have to be prosperous, have good success, give your Bible thought and walk in it. Amen. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. The book of this law shall not depart from out of, my, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein every day. See, that's the problem. They don't meditate. And, and, and I looked up the word meditate. And how many know what the word meditate means? What it is, it's like a cow that eats green grass, and it'll swallow it, and it bounce it right back up and chew on it a little while longer and swallow it. Amen. Bounce it back up. Amen. After a while, it turned out to have, have white milk. What are you trying to say? We need to digest this food, yes, uh, this word, Probably. and get a full meaning out of it. Bless our Lord that meditate on the word of God. Think about it. Chew on it a while. Study it. That shall meditate there every day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, wheresoever thou goest. I'll tell you, if you walk with God, God will walk with you. Yes, Amen. God will not change his word. Lord Jesus. Now we we change uh, we change we change the word of sin we we change the word of uh, homosexual we change the word of everything else just not in the Bible. In other words, it, it's a must, sin is a mistake, or it's a, it's it's going just a little wrong direction. A lie is just a little white lie. Well, you know what I'm saying, church? Now I'm closing right now because uh, I've been I've been long winded enough. And God hasn't changed his ways about heaven. I said God hasn't changed his ways about heaven. The Bible says in Matthew, verse 5, Jesus is the only, is, is only the, says only the pure to see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, it's only the pure to see God. If you're not pure in heart, you're not going to see God. Right. And you're not going to heaven. Right. Only the pure of the heart, and only the, the, the righteous will, go, will ever go to heaven. And Jesus is the only way to heaven. He's the only way. There's no other way. That's, right. That's why Jesus said the road, the, the road is narrow, and few there but find it. But broad is the way that many can go their way. But they end up on the road to the wrong place. I'm trying to hurry through this. Yeah. We've got to love them with all of our heart, with all of our might to get to heaven. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear have heard, neither have been into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for them that love him. And God has revealed them to us by his spirit. I mean, by his word and by the Holy Spirit. First, we got to love God. If we love God, now the Bible said the love of God constraineth us. Yes. It'll cause us to walk the way that we ought to walk. Can I hear an amen? amen? But God has not changed his way to heaven. You've got to be pure, you've got to be holy, and you've got to follow Jesus. You've got to pick up that cross. Not, not, not just on Sundays or not on Wednesdays or whatever your church not be whatever. But you gotta pick that cross up every day, every day. and follow him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because if you pick up that cross, you're, you're yoked up with him. God has not changed. The churches have changed, pastors have changed, preachers have changed, but God has not changed. He's not changed his ways at all. That's why we can serve a God that we know 
what he says he means, what he says he wants to. Would you stand tonight?